if you are wondering if the new Instagram algorithm is going to affect you and your business and your Instagram page, well, I'm going to help you figure that out. My name is Monica. I am the creator of the Monica Rose Entrepreneurship, and that's a community where I work hands-on, one-on-one with entrepreneurs who want to start and grow a successful business. And I will leave more details down below. You are all welcome to join. But today, we are going to figure out what is going on with Instagram. You may or may not have heard, but Instagram announced that they're going to change the algorithm to the way you see your newsfeed. So currently when you post a photo, it's just the most recent at the top, right? When you log in and it's in chronological order. Now Instagram is slowly planning on transitioning your newsfeed based off of your likes and your interests and also the most popular photos that they feel are important and they feel like you have that interest to see them first. So the reason why users are a little bit worried is because if you don't have a large following or you don't get hundreds of likes on your photos, then your post may just get lost and nobody may even see it and you're going to see your engagement go really down. Somebody posts a photo say 15 hours ago, then if it's that popular, when you log in, it's going to be at the top. So we really need to figure out how we can engage with our followers and continue to grow our brand and grow our following on Instagram. Now we have to be more active than ever. We have to engage with the followers that we have. So if they're liking our photos, then we should like their photos. If they're commenting on our posts, we need to reply to them and thank them and just build a relationship with them so they will continue to like and continue to follow you. So the more likes that you get, the more likely they will see your photo in their news feed. Also just want to stay consistent and I talked about this in my previous Instagram video how important it is to post every single day you know not bombard your feed with a million different photos but at least one to three photos a day and you know you really want to stay consistent. Now you also want to take advantage of your caption so I do this all the time give them an opportunity to maybe answer a question so for example I'll say, oh, I, I love this book. What's your favorite book? And then that gives them an opportunity to comment on your photo. And then you'll see that people are having conversations in your post. So the more comments, the more likes, the more activity on your photos is going to translate to their feed. Instagram is going to see that, hey, this person likes your photos and they're gonna see your post in their news feed more often. Okay, now it doesn't just stop on your photos. Now we can put ourselves out there. We need to find other pages that are relevant to your page. And we also have to like and comment. And when I say comment, you want to have authentic, personal comments. You don't want to have like a generic, just, just an emoji and it just doesn't seem personal, right? So you really want to engage and you want to do it the right way so that people will see that and their followers are obviously interested in their page. If it's a relevant page, then they're going to come back to you and they're going to follow you and they're going to engage with you. I can honestly say ever since I've been doing this, I have been growing my followers and I mean valuable followers. I'm not talking about like for like or follow for follow. Those there, those don't mean anything, honestly. That's not going to help you grow a successful Instagram page, a successful business. We want those real followers that are honestly interested in, in what you're sharing on your Instagram page. And that's really the meaning to all of this. We have to continue to build real relationships. So once you put yourself out there and get the right exposure that's going to come back to you and it's honestly it's going to help you so much with engagement follows and this new algorithm now let's talk about hashtags because hashtags seem to confuse people still some people don't really you know get the full benefit of what hash can hashtags can do for you <laughs> That's just a campaign there, right? Okay, so let's talk about hashtags. So you can have up to 30 hashtags and you want to take advantage of all those 30 hashtags. But I'm going to share with you 
how to do it the right way, not the spammy way. I'm always saying that. I never want to do the spammy way. No. I would suggest adding one to two hashtags in your caption. And what I like to do is I like to add it into my sentence. So, for example, this uh, tie-dye dress. Oh, I just have, I'm obsessed with my new hashtag tie-dye dress for this hashtag spring season. That's it. Still going to get your message across to your followers, but it's not going to be lost in a whole bunch of hashtags. Okay, well let's talk about the additional hashtags. So you said that you can add up to 30, but where do I put those 30 hashtags? So what you want to do is you want to add those in your comments section. So right when you post your photo, immediately right after that, add your other hashtags there. Car alarm. I hope it's not my car. Okay, now let me answer this. So the reason why we use hashtags is basically because they're for search purposes. People are searching specific topics and they want to see different photos all around the Instagram world about that specific topic. A few other things to keep in mind, if somebody comments on your post and they add a hashtag, that's going to do nothing for you. That hashtag is not going to be seen in any search. Also want to make sure your Instagram profile is public. If it's not public, nobody's going to see your photos obviously, but even if you add a hashtag to it, it's still not going to show up in the search. So you want to make sure that your Instagram page is public. Now if you would like to learn exactly how I do this and actually see an example of what hashtags I use, what hashtags not to use, and see exactly what works, I will leave a video down below again to my community where I just have a whole bunch of videos, more videos, detailed tutorials on how I actually grow my following on Instagram and actually have a profitable Instagram account. So I will leave my community where you guys can join to get access to all of those exclusive videos. But I just want to say thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I cannot wait to see you next time.